Welcome to Turbo Live here on the Turbo Sports Group Network, your exclusive behind the scenes look at the 2014 NCCAA Division I Basketball National Championships. I'm Matt Digby coming to you from the Manahan Orthopedic Capital Center on the campus of Grace College in Winona Lake, Indiana, where Saturday, March 22nd, 2014, will be a day that goes down in history for two schools as we crown a national champion in both men's and women's basketball. First up, the women's national championship game. It was a rivalry between two Tennessee schools, the Lee Lady Flames from Cleveland and the Union Lady Bulldogs from Jackson. Let's take a look at the highlights. Again, welcome to Turbo Live on the TSG Network. Hudeman trying to get position. A little dip under is good for Hudeman. McLaughlin driving on German. McLaughlin puts it up and it's good. McLaughlin bluffed the drive, then backs up. McLaughlin over German, knocks down the three. 73-64 the final. The Union Lady Bulldogs from Jackson, Tennessee are the NCCAA Women's Division I Basketball National Champions. I'm joined by Union's Latisa McLaughlin, this year's tournament MVP. Latisa, just talk about what struggles your team had to face throughout this national championship game because you were going back and forth with Lee for a while to start. Well, we really respect Lee. They're a great team. Uh, we've played them. That makes our fourth time this year. So um, they got us twice, and now we got them twice. So we really respect them as a ball club. But just playing against somebody that you're familiar with, it always makes it tougher. Um, so just the battle of knowing each other makes everything harder. But the fact that we could execute down the end and down the stretch was perfect. So You're up five at halftime. You're able to keep Lee at an arm's length during the second half. What specifically were you able to do that was so successful? Defense. Uh, we pride ourselves on defense, so defense was our main thing. Defense and boxing out. They're really long and we're kind of short, so we just made sure we kept a body on somebody just to secure the rebound. Now, you're close to Lee, only about a four-hour drive between campuses. What does this mean to not only win the national championship, but to do it against a fellow school from Tennessee? It's definitely a great feeling. Uh, we, As I said earlier, we respect Lee, so... Um, to beat one of the greats is excellent. So we know that beating the great means we're great. So that's all that matters. What's uh, the party going to be like down in Jackson when you guys get back to campus? We're not sure, but we know they're behind us 100%. Anything, any quick shout out you like to say to anyone special before you head back? I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. And to my team, I love y'all. Well, Latisa, congratulations. We'll let you get back to celebrating with your teammates. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Back here with Union head coach Mark Campbell, head coach of your national champion Union Lady Bulldogs. And coach, it was a back and forth game the first few minutes, but then you were able to pull away towards the end of the first half. What specifically do you think went so successful? Well, we, this is our fourth time to play and Every game has been like this the whole time. So I think they won on a last second shot in the first game. We lost by five at their place and then we won in the last minute last week and then again uh, today. So I think we made two really big shots late and obviously we had several rebounds down there. Obviously I have my best player go 10 for 10 from the foul line. It makes a huge difference down the stretch. Yeah, that usually helps in any game, let alone a national championship game. But you're going into halftime up five. What specifically is, was your message to your girls going into the second half? Well, our message the whole game was just that we wanted to make sure that the rebounding margin was pretty, pretty close to even. They've been great at it all year. Our first two games, they had a 30-point second chance differential in those two games. And last time was a 14 to 13. I don't know what it ended up tonight, but I thought we rebounded a lot better tonight. Now, what, as a national champion, what does this mean for your program now that you're headed back to Jackson, Tennessee? I'm sure there's going to be some sort of celebration that all the girls are eager to take part in. What does this mean uh, going forward in the future for Lady Bulldog basketball? Well, I think from a temporal standpoint, it obviously is a really good thing for our program. I think ultimately uh, the, the hearts of my kids at the end of the year we're together, and uh, and ultimately that's what I was concerned about. I mean, at the end of the game, whether we won or lost, I was really proud of who they were, how hard they played, and really who they were as a unit. So uh, winning's a byproduct of character and talent and hard work, and I thought our kids did that all year long. Coach, I know you're dying to get back with your players to celebrate. Congratulations on national championships. Thanks. Thanks, appreciate it. That's Union Head Coach Mark Campbell. Once again, your final score in the women's Division I National Championship game, Union 73, Lee 64. We'll take a quick break, then coming back up, highlights from the Men's National Championship, where the fourth-seeded Point Loma Nazarene Sea Lions from San Diego took on the host college, the seven-seeded Grace Lancers from right here in Winona Lake. Don't go away. This is Turbo Live. 
but the sound in here is being contained pretty well. I'm pretty sure if they make their noise, it'll be heard. And a huge three from the right wing by Sam Akot, and that's his second three-pointer of the game. That was just one of those cases. Get your arms up. I think it was actually deflected by someone that had their back turned. Clawson thought about the three, then dished inside to Sam Akoden, who has a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. They did fly from San Diego as Morgan gets the putback off the miss three by Clawson, and the third time is a charm, a putback by A.J. Ussery. 75-73, the Point Loma Nazarene Sea Lions are the kings of the NCCAA Men's Division I Basketball National Tournament. I'm here with Sea Lions Hayden Lesko, named to the all-tournament team in Hayden. Talk us through that last nine seconds while you're on defense trying to keep Grace from getting a bucket. Defense has been our, uh, our main focus the entire season, so there, it's fitting that it would end the season like that with getting a big defensive stop with nine seconds left. You guys had a three-point lead at halftime. You didn't lead, or you didn't trail for all second half and for the very end of the first half. What were you able to do so effectively that kept Grace at arm's length throughout the second half? Execute, man. All year long, we've just been running our plays. We've been executing everything to a T, and that's been our, the key to our season and our success. I imagine you guys are pretty anxious to get back to San Diego. What do you think the celebration is going to be like? Oh, it's going to be great. People waiting for us at school, you know, all our friends, professors. Everyone's going to be really excited for us. Well, Hayden, I know you want to get back to celebrating with your teammates. Congratulations on national Thank championship. Much. Thank you very much. Joined by Sea Lions head coach Bill Carr and coach. Walk us through what your emotions were those final nine seconds when Grace had a chance to take the lead or a tie. Well, you know, I, I kept thinking if you're going to win a championship, it's going to be hard. It was never going to be easy. Grace is well coached. They're a good team. They got the best player in the tournament. I knew it wasn't going to be easy. We got to stop there at the end, and it's fitting for us because we think that's how that's who we are. We're defending a defending team. So finishing it off on defense is uh, the way it should be. And you certainly were very effective on defense, particularly throughout the second half, where you guys never trailed in the second half. What specifically were you able to do, or can you sing out any players in particular who were able to keep an individual effort to keep the Lancers at bay? Well, you know, I thought we were scoring the ball okay. They got, uh, I'm not sure how many threes they got in the second half, but that's not us. We normally guard the three-point line a little better, but we're in Indiana, so it shouldn't surprise me that there's shooters here. Uh, and, they, and they made a charge at us, and we kept scoring. We got to the foul line a couple of times. You know, our guys are gutsy, they, they, and so are their kids. I, I don't want to take anything away from them. But uh, uh, I thought our guys played a really good game and, and finished it off. What does this mean now to your university, the fact that not only you're a national champion, but you won a national championship game playing a team on their home court in front of their home fans? That's got to be special. Yeah, anytime you can win on the road. And this was a road game. Let's not mistake that. This was a road game. Those, there was a lot of red in the stands tonight. Uh, so, you know, our guys, because they're feisty and they're competitive, they kept hoping that it would be Grace that they played in the final. They were rooting for Grace two nights ago. So they got their wish, and uh, I thought they competed. Any uh, specific shout-outs you want to say to anyone back home in California? Just the our administration and, and giving us the opportunity to come out here. This is a great tournament. Uh, our two seniors, A.J. Essery and Taylor Weatherall, I thought they had great careers. And what a, what a great way for them to go out. And we got some young guys, and, and you know the future's bright here at Point Loma. Well, I'm sure the administrators are ready and waiting to welcome you guys back home. Congratulations on a national championship. We'll let you get back to celebrating. Thanks. That's head coach Bill Carr of the Point Loma Nazarene Sea Lions, your 2014 NCCAA Men's Division I Basketball National Champions. And that will do it for here from Turbo Live for Busbead. I'm Matt Digby. A reminder, you want to download any of the 24 games from Championship Week here on TSG, just be sure to go to our website, turbosportsgroup.com. Turbo spelled T-O-U-R-B-E-A-U. It should be scrolling right across the bottom of your screen here. But again, for Busby and I, Matt Digby, thank you for watching this presentation of the Turbo Sports Group Network. This is Turbo Live.